Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about bee products and honey, propolis and others and on the effects on human health. So, let's get started. Here you can see a comprehensive review of effect of honey on human health. It's a new article of 2023. There is another article also very fresh on honey bee products with a nice figure of different bee products against different diseases. Let's shortly mention the contents of honey. Of course, it, there are different carbs, uh, fats, proteins, bioactive substances, vitamins, minerals, and all this stuff here, phenolic fl substances, flavonoids, that affect our body. I want to tell you that honey contains a lot of carbs. These are fast carbs with high glycemic index, meaning that will cause the spike in glucose, cause the spike in insulin. But still, it was studied as an alternative to sucrose, to sugar, in diabetic patients. So, what is propolis? Propolis is the first bee product we will be talking about. Propolis is a sticky substance that the bees gather by mixing their own waxes with resinous sap obtained from trees and flowers to use in their nests. It has antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer effects. For example, here it showed the direct anti-cancer activity. Bee venom is a natural toxin produced by the glands of the bees uh, that are located in their bellies. Uh, it's needed for protection of their nests, I mean bee colonies. It has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, um, radioprotective effects, meaning they can protect from ionizing radiation. It is effective in some diseases like uh, inflammatory conditions and autoimmune conditions like, for example, autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis, joint problems, or in cancer. But this is preclinically. Bee venom contains a lot of different substances. You can see here, many of them will cause allergy-like symptoms. Here you can see a nice review article on bee venom, that it has some anti-cancer, neuroprotective, anti-arthritic activities. You can see the name of the article and the year and author. You can easily find it in internet if you wish. Also, about antibacterial properties of uh, bee venom against uh, viruses also, against fungi. It can help, by the way, against biofilms. Biofilms is a protective um, method of microorganisms to survive against our immunity or antibacterial drugs. There is also honeybee pollen. It is a mixture of pollen and flower nectar that honeybees gather and mix as a food supply for their hive. It is considered to be superfood because it is very rich in different nutrients. There is also a fresh review article on different effects of uh, honeybee pollen on our body. And of course, royal jelly. These are proteins, carbs, fats that are contained in the water. And this is used by bees to feed their queen and young larvae. It also has a lot of effects like antioxidant, anti-aging. They also have antimicrobial effects, antioxidant, a tonic effect. Uh, it can be potentially a good uh, supplement in cancer, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular and Alzheimer's uh, disease patients. And one more potential use is in uh, helicobacter pylori uh, patients who have gastritis, ulcer, and um, because honey bee products, they are anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. And potentially they can help to heal these uh, ulcers and kill helicobacter. But it needs to be investigated on humans in clinical trials. So let's talk about clinical trials now. Of course, we need to start from diabetes because I told you it was studied as the alternative to sugar in diabetes. Not only honey in general, but also propolis and royal jelly you can see here. In general, they can help to decrease the fasting glucose, decrease the uh, glycated um, hemoglobin, increase levels of C-peptide in 
type 1 diabetes, meaning that potentially they can improve the health of pancreas, decreasing inflammation there, and increasing the synthesis of their own insulin. Here you can see that uh, there were 66 patients, some were getting um, propolis, 300 milligrams capsules, three times a day, the others were getting placebo for three months, and they saw lower uh, fasting glucose, they saw better glycated or glycosylated hemoglobin, and they saw lower total cholesterol. The other study, they also took patients with metformin. You can see the number of studies, you can search for it if you wish. Other studies also showed uh, improvement of total cholesterol. Some studies also showed improvement of good cholesterol, HDL, high-density lipoproteins. So, in general, it can be not a bad substitute for, uh, for sugar in diabetic patients. But I want to remind you that these studies uh, took quite short periods, like three months, half a year. And don't forget about fructose in honey, that uh, the content is high and fructose is um, quite damaging for liver, especially for those prone to fat liver disease. Uh, that's why um, I would, uh, would not uh, recommend uh, honey, even after what we saw in these clinical studies, to patients with diabetes, with metabolic syndrome, with uh, high body weight, with, uh, I mean, obesity, with fatty liver disease, etc. Next, cancer. Uh, of course, uh, antioxidants uh, may be good for cancer prevention. Antioxidants, anti-inflammatory effects of honey. So, potentially, it's not a bad uh, anti-cancer preventive measure. Some preclinical data shows that it has also anti-cancer effects, like uh, killing the cancer cells, like increasing apoptosis, decreasing tumor growth, decreasing inflammation, improving their immunity. But if we see the clinical trials, quite a lot of clinical trials, by the way, they all mostly show not anti-cancer activity. They show uh, good adjunctive um, and protective effects. Uh, like um, there is their mucositis or stomatitis. When um, the patients get chemotherapy or radiation therapy, uh, the cells of um, mucosa, of guts, of stomach, of esophagus, of mouth can be damaged, die, slough off, and form the ulcers. And it can be very painful. Patients may uh, have troubles uh, feeding themselves. And honey uh, showed that it can be a good preventive measure, help to reduce the risk of this complication, and also can help with its treatment. By the way, I made a video, separate video on this complication uh, on uh, this channel, so you can watch it on different methods, what to do, how to prevent, how to treat, etc. Please watch it if you wish. Also, it was studied in patients with uh, kidney cancer who were taking uh, the pills against this cancer, and it reduced their side effects like fatigue, low appetite, so it can be quite helpful for patients with cancer as an adjunctive uh, method. And by the way, it can help with weight gain in uh, cancer patients who have weight deficiency. Next, it's worth mentioning that B products may have effects on heart and on ACE hormone. We often block this ACE hormone with um, our drugs against hypertension. And propolis and uh, royal jelly bee pollen may also help with that, but more naturally. For example, there was an interesting study where they used uh, propolis mouthwash against chlorgecthexidine mouthwash, the standard antiseptic, and they showed that the change in uh, oral bacteria somehow led to relaxation of blood vessels, most likely through nitric oxide and through this ACE hormone inhibition, enlarging blood vessels and decreasing their lower um, blood pressure. And other effects on cardiovascular system, you can see here, total cholesterol, triglycerides, uh, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. In general, you can see good effect on uh, these numbers. More investigations and more investigations. And by the way, honey consumption did not produce this increase in uh, total cholesterol that is seen in uh, 
uh, sugar consumers, meaning maybe it's a bad alternative for sugar if you cannot live without sweet. Next, a lot of investigations of or on um, dental problems. In general, propolis may help with um, dental and uh, gingival health. If you have inflammation, if you have uh, some caries, rotting of teeth, it may be helpful. And it can also destroy biofilms of uh, oral bacteria. And it has also wound healing properties and antibacterial properties. It shows that adding honey products uh, to different uh, wound dressings and ointments may help to uh, heal these wounds. For example, one study showed that um, panthenol plus royal jelly helped to heal uh, different chronic wounds like connected to, for example, chronic venous problems on the legs, diabetes, or even uh, cancerous wounds when the tumor is already breaking down and there is a wound there and also there. And there are some studies that show that uh, honey may help uh, kids and adults to mm, recover from different respiratory viral infections faster, to decrease their cough, to improve their sleep, and to recover from bacterial gut infections, to get rid of diarrhea faster. Some studies tried to learn if there will be any effect on gut bacteria, but there was no effect on gut bacteria. Some studies try to research if it will be helpful in young girls with painful menstruations, painful periods, but it did not really help. But in general, of course, there is no remedy against all the diseases. Only in advertisements of some bad supplement sellers. Okay, safety. Of course, first of all, uh, honey products may cause allergies. It can be allergies to some proteins, bee proteins. It can be allergies to pollen that uh, bees bring from the flowers if the person is allergic to this pollen. It can be allergy to different mold and bacterial products uh, that may contaminate honey. And allergies may be very serious up to anaphylactic shock, meaning it can be even dangerous for life. Bee venom can cause allergies. Bee pollen can cause allergies, royal jelly can cause allergies. Also, you must remember that babies that are younger than one year of age, they are at risk to baby botulism. These bacteria may be present in honey and these babies are not yet protected by immunity. Even small amounts may be dangerous for them. That's why no honey for babies less than one year of age. And, of course, it's high in carbs, high in fructose. Be careful about your liver. People with high body weight, with metabolic syndrome, with, with diabetes mellitus, I wouldn't recommend that. Both sugar and honey are not good, as for me. Okay, so let's do conclusions. What is honey? Honey is antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial thing and um, protective and healing thing. It can help with wound healing, with ulcer care healing, with teeth and uh, gums uh, health. It can be a good adjunctive uh, thing for uh, oncology patients to protect uh, them from this uh, uh, inflammation of uh, mucosa. It can help with uh, surviving the side effects of chemotherapy, uh, it can help with some weight gain in those patients. It can possibly decrease diastolic blood pressure, the lower blood pressure, the vascular blood pressure. It can possibly decrease fasting glucose and uh, glycated hemoglobin in diabetic patients. And it can help in viral infection and bacterial gastroenteritis. But don't forget, it's uh, carbs with high glycemic index. Thanks everyone who is supporting this channel and thanks those who is active in their comments. If you also want to support channel, under this video there is a link to PayPal or you can become our sponsor. I would appreciate if you write some comment under this video. Maybe share your experience or share your love to bee products. Or maybe wish something good to the others. Everyone who always mentioned my accent, thank you for your comments. I know I have an accent, it's normal. I am not a native speaker. And see you in the next videos. Goodbye, good luck. Don't be